A Kenyan-born comedian Jambi McGraw has blasted Churchill show host Daniel Mdamuki and the organizers for refusing to pay for her accommodation and shortchanging her fee. According to Ms McGraw who is based in the United Kingdom UK, her performance at the Laugh Festival in July was a huge flop especially because the performances dragged for too long. Narrating her ordeal on Facebook, the comedian said that she was not received once she got to the venue and neither was she offered anything to eat or drink even after waiting for hours on end. I was asked to sit in a small tent by myself which served as the green room which I did. I asked what time I would be on stage was told 9 p.m., which was fine. The show started after 8 and the opener was a preacher who was not on the bill but I think he was praying for the show or something and offering gifts to people, I could only watch on the small screen, but I had no problem with that as I didn't want to come between comedy organizers and their god. After half an hour a comedian went on stage not on the poster of 6 but I thought nothing of it, her post reads in part. She further noted that the show was more like a marketing gig rather than a comedy show. Someone should have told me. I too, could have brought a goat my auntie has been trying to shift for a while, she continued. She finally took the stage at around 2 a.m. after Churchill went on stage and did 20 minutes of singing nursery rhymes which seemed to liven the audience. I guess drunk people enjoy a sing-along. On taking the stage, she recounted, the audience was completely out of it. It was very noisy and extremely chaotic. I asked the audience if they wanted me to carry on and the rowdy drunks yelled no. Ms McGraw also remembered being disrespected by Mac Jesse, who apparently started performing a shocking dance. Her daughter and parents were in the audience. The worst thing was how Mac Jesse felt he could disrespect me by performing a lurid dance with me in front of my mother and daughters pushing himself on me. I was livid. She stated.